Gabe, welcome back to the show. Hey, listen, it's April. Why not start talking summer now? Uh, it's yes, summer. we it's... need to. Otherwise, we're going to be behind the ball. <laughs> exactly right. But it's never too late, though. And one of your first options is just down the road, Hotel Galvez. So this is, and this is a reminder that Texas goes on sale during the summer season, as much of the southern tier states do. So you want to look at destinations that just need the foot traffic. You'll see some of the best bargains there. Hotel Galvez, uh, you know, what, an hour drive from where we're sitting right yeah. now, right on the water there, uh, you know, little island, uh, easy to get to. And prices will drop nicely over the uh, summer season, $99 a night uh, for travel through the summer season. This is a beautiful Four Diamond uh, Hotel. They've got a swim-up bar at that, that pool there, so you may not need to leave this hotel at all. Well, Ever. 99 yeah. bucks a night. <laughs> it's a great deal, and it is. It's it's amazing. I love it. Okay, yeah. let's move on to uh, Colorado. We like that, So we? Colorado, so obviously some of these great ski destinations, that's when they'll see their prices peak. February, March, when the snow is really good, the ski bunnies go in, the snow melts, the mountains are still there, the yeah. four and five star <laughs> hotels are still there, they need you. And you'll see some great bargains there. This is a great uh, resort called the Ritz-Carlton Bachelor Gulf uh, in Avon, Colorado, at the very base of Beaver Creek Mountain. Uh. Gorgeous uh, four diamond resort, for five hundred dollars a night during the winter season, if not more, one ninety nine uh, for the uh, summer season. And you know the snow is gone, which means what? You're horseback riding, you're going on guided hikes, you're fly fishing, uh, and that wide glove service that draws those ski buffs during the winter season that doesn't go away. You're still getting that over the summer season, although you're saving fifty percent or more. That That's setting. beautiful. And quite honestly, off. it's the best place to escape the heat it when really you just is. need to get away for a bit to escape our summer. It's Houstonians perfect. Houstonians love Colorado. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you and this is a great excuse to. to Put it on the uh, summer to-do list, right? Some place that it. is super close, uh, by the way. You hop down to Mexico in oh, what man. feels like five minutes. Yeah. This is the Hilton Los Cabos. And I love this resort. I love Los Cabos. And like you said, you can have breakfast at home. And if you time it right, you could be having a margarita at lunchtime. Oh, yeah. On the shores of Los Cabos. This is the Hilton Los Cabos. It's on one of the very few swimmable beaches in Cabo San Lucas. Because a lot of those beaches are yeah, sort of rough. rugged mm -hmm. there on the Sea of Cortez. You can swim on this beach. They also have two infinity pools here. The bar on site the largest tequila selection uh, on that stretch of Baja California. So again, you don't have to leave the resort when you, once you're there. And the price point, yeah, from 179 to 219 uh, based on when you travel, breakfast is included, uh, and then do the two-for-one adventure combo. So if you want to go dolphin excursion, uh, you can go for free kind of a thing. Oh, I love uh, nice it. And you know what? I don't think there's a cloud in Los Cabos no. ever. I mean, the summer season, the reason the prices drop is that it can get a little bit more, you know, stormy, a little dicier as far as the weather forecast is concerned. But again, you're in that infinity pool. Oh. You're in that tequila bar. You forget about the storm. Until and it all goes those through. rooms yeah. have an ocean view, too. Yeah, that's a beautiful Waking thing. up with the ocean. Yeah. yeah. I have a friend like who dream. actually stayed there a couple of months ago. Blown away. He loved that property a lot. Fantastic. Okay, let's move on to Bermuda. So this is Bermuda. This is now not the Caribbean. A lot of people think, oh, Bermuda's part of the Caribbean. We're talking a 1,000 miles north of Puerto Rico. So the weather tends to, you know, we sort of, escape a lot of that summertime dicey weather that the Caribbean will see. Gorgeous pink sand beaches up there. Great property, the Fairmont Southampton, Four Diamond Resort on a cliff overlooking those pink sand beaches, overlooking the waters there. They have a gorgeous 31,000 square foot spa. Oh. Uh, you can hang out in there all day. Ten restaurants, just a beautiful, lush resort in one of the great destinations there in the Atlantic, uh, the Fairmont South End. Oh my goodness, I would go just for the spa. Yeah. That sounds unbelievable. Willow spa. Okay, all inclusive, this is a great way to go because you know there are gonna be no surprises, yeah. you're not gonna run up a huge tab. Let's talk Jamaica. Yeah, so for folks who have not done the Caribbean and they wanna do like an introductory experience, the all-inclusive is, is a really safe way to go. You want to research your resort, make sure it's the kind of resort you like. But otherwise, as it says, most of what you're going to be doing and seeing and eating will be included. This is a package of a company called Vacation Express. It takes you over to Negril, Jamaica, and you stay four nights uh, at a great little boutique hotel right on the cliff uh, that's called the Samara, Samsara Cliff Hotel. All-inclusive, the price point between $629 and $745, depending on your travel dates. But again, that's airfare, four nights, all-inclusive oh. stay, all you can eat, all you can sip as well. Oh, oh. now that sounds yes. fantastic. It's Maybe it can be dangerous. The road. <laughs> they may not know, know who they're dealing with when they're saying yeah. all-inclusive. That's, that's what I tell my wife. Like, do they know who they're dealing with? After right. Courtney's stay, they'll file bankruptcy. <laughs> uh, let's talk a little bit about Legoland because this is great for the whole family. You have a family. Yeah, indeed. Three kids, and I, uh, I, I but I didn't take them with me on this on this research excursion what? last week. It was research. To, to Legoland, Florida. So, so if you're thinking about Orlando, I mean, it's sort of a theme park mecca, obviously. This is Legoland, about an hour outside of Orlando Airport. This is the brand new 
Lego Movie World. So if you've seen the movies, I mean, they've wrecked uh, in more than half a billion dollars worldwide. Three new rides. They've got a new uh, a dining spot on the property. It's at two acres, the largest expansion the park's ever done. This Masters of Flight, the technology there is fantastic. Oh it's a four and a half minute immersive uh, ride. But if your kids, especially ages two to 12, if they're into Legos, Lego characters, great uh, destination for them. Uh, they've got two hotels there on the property. So you can make it sort of a one or two night stay and really immerse yourself. It's a 150-acre park, but this new um, inclusion really brings those movies to life. As you know, in San Antonio, the Legoland Discovery Center is opening up April 12th. Yes. There's sort of a Lego playground. There's a the Sea Life Aquarium there as well. So something for the Lego lover in your life, no matter where you go. I love it. I know my boys would, too. By the way, for more information on all these travel deals and much more, head over to our site, HoustonLife.tv. Always great to see great you, Great to Dave. see you guys. You all have right. the best job, seriously. Someone's got to do tips. it. <laughs>